Okay, so this time on the 46 Dodge, I started working on the, uh, the hood latches. And I got the one on the right side done, and now I have to work on the left side. So I'll show you what the right one looks like. So I spent about a day before making these brackets. I had one for each side, and it was holding this up, and this thing was more over there towards the center. And uh, then whenever I put the roll cage on, I had to take that off. So basically this is uh, junk, I guess. I'm going to have to use that for something else. So then I, I made these brackets right here. And uh, I welded it onto the side of that roll cage, which I like, and it's it's nice and stiff, it's really strong. I could probably put another gusset in there if I want to make it even stronger, but it's it's pretty strong as it is. And that gives me a place to uh, put my cable down through the side here, and it still has pretty good room for whenever the tire hits a bump, which and it's fully turned now, so the odds of me hitting it is pretty slim whenever the tire is fairly straight. And I'll show you what the other side looks like. So you can see that this bracket's different and I have to cut this off and make this go straight out which that's not too bad of a change um, these parts are really cheap I think this was an 80 Corvette it was only 12 bucks for two of these I got this off of eBay so if, if I add a little welded piece on here I can make it just like that one for the most part and uh, then I can weld it on here because otherwise I, I don't have a space to weld it where it's up high like that and that one worked out really well oh the other thing I wanted to point out was on the um, frame over here so I had to put this piece along the top up here and then cut this V in here so that the uh, the latch would miss that and then I also put this piece on over here that's where the spring hits and I had to get it on an angle so that uh, that way it would hit straight on the spring yeah this angle that this thing's on that's slanted so that from here straight down to the pivot point on the roll cage it, it's perpendicular when it sticks up so whenever the latch comes down it's going to come down nice and even down into this groove okay you can see I put the other uh, latch on there and basically I cut the foot off that's on the right side with that single bolt on it and took the down leg off and welded it back onto the uh, Corvette hood latch so it's it's not exactly a stock latch but it's not a big change so if I have to buy another one I can do that pretty easily and uh, that way I was able to weld it on and symmetrically just like the other one on the other side it worked out well. So I made this thing out of 5 16 round stock that I got up at Lowe's and uh, so it works out pretty nice I think that's the size that this thing was and I had to bend it a little bit on an angle so it's going to come up and it's going to sit onto a, a piece of eighth inch something like that and then I'll be able to adjust it by about I don't know what that is three quarters of an inch up and down and then also these things are nice because they have uh, they have an adjustment on them. They have this ratchet tooth here, which is nice. So it gives you some adjustment there also. So th these are nice latches for what I'm doing with them. So I can really, you know, pick whatever I want as far as the angle. Have it really low, up higher. Okay, I just wanted to show you a shot with the uh, fender off. And uh, I got the latch to work and I made this piece and I welded the rest of that on and it uh, looks a little tight here but other than that it's pretty good I gotta take just a little bit of this corner off down under here but this is the first time I've had to fender off and I can fit my finger in between all these frame tubes so I'm pretty happy with that so that's it for now and I'll see you next time